Live from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE, covering VTUG's New England Winter Warmer 2017. Now your host, Stu Miniman. Hi everyone, I'm Sam Kahane with Wikibon Senior Analyst and CUBE host. Uh, we're here at the VTUG over at Gillette Stadium, home of the New England Patriots. We've had an awesome day. Uh, we just had Dion Branch come on the Cube, 39th Super Bowl MVP. That was pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, I, I mean, Sam, you know, as I've said, I'm a Patriots season ticket holder, uh, you know, been going to the game since I moved up to here to New England when I got out of college. You know, love the Patriots. It's one of my favorite places to come to an event. So, you know, give me a day of, you know, geeking out on technology and end it with a Super Bowl MVP from the Patriots who had some fun stories about Tom Brady and, you know, what he's learned and everything. I mean, wh <laughs> what a day. I mean, there's beer waiting for us when we're done. So, you know, no complaints on my end. No complaints. So, to start, I want to just quickly get a Tom Brady story, and then we're going to wrap up the event for you, tell you everything you need to know about the VTUG. So, one Dion Branch story about Tom Brady to start us off. Yeah, so, you know, it, it, it was great. He's like, you know, hey, Tom, don't get mad at me, but you know, people in New England know Tom Brady is super competitive. I mean, he practices hard, everything else, but you know, he's like, I played a ping pong game with him, you know, I beat him. Next person's wait. No, no, play again. Third time, <laughs> after three times playing, everybody's waiting around. Tom broke every ping pong paddle <laughs> in there. So it's like, all right, we're done for the day, on to something else. So, you know, we expect Tom Brady to come out this weekend on Sunday, that competitive fire, take the team to their, you know, it would be his seventh Super Bowl appearance because he wants that fifth ring, Tom. You know, one more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All five, come on Tom, let's do it. Yeah. So, you know, this is a user event. Let's talk about the users. What's new with the users here? Yeah, so what I really like about this event is it, it's pretty broad in scope. Right, so right. as customers are getting ready for things like virtualization, you know, adoption, cloud, containers, you know, developers, everything that's going on there, um, you know, th they're learning all these new technologies and yeah. understanding how, how, how they work. So what's changing? You know, let's start with storage. What's changing with storage? So, you know, storage, we talked to a number of people in storage. You've got, you know, hyper-converged infrastructure. You know, SimpliVity just got bought by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Mm -hmm. You and I did a video about that yesterday, Sam. Yes, we did. Um, you know, Nutanix is here uh, with there. You've got the kind of secondary storage, kind of looks like hyper-converged, like Cohesity. A lot of, you know, these, these new waves uh, coming in. Uh, you know, Flash, of course, you know, very, uh, you know, important wave in storage. Uh, and then, you know, where are, you know, things like machine learning and IoT fitting in, uh, interviewed Igneous uh, uh, on the program mm -hmm. to talk about that because, you know, object has gone through a rebirth as to, you know, some new sources of data, massive amounts of data. So, you know, lots of changes in the storage industry. Some of it really changing. It's not about the storing of data. It's about leveraging data. It's about, you know, weaving it into clouds and new applications. Uh, so, uh, you know, kind of that, you know, death of the old storage, but mm -hmm. long live, you know, store, you know, uh, what the importance of data. The importance of data. So that's storage, and then what's changed with you know, cloud, containers, could you touch on that as well? Yeah, so, you know, many of the customers in an event like this are still trying to figure out how cloud fit for them. And I talk to most customers, they're all doing SaaS. I mean, you know, everything from, you know, Salesforce, you know, Workday, you know, ServiceNow, many, you know, SaaS applications that they're using uh, that are important. Microsoft had a huge push with mm -hmm. Office 365 over the last couple of years, so I don't think there's any company that says, oh wait, I don't trust, you know, software as a service. It would be like people now saying, I don't trust the internet. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> just the way that a lot of people do business. Um, but, you know, where do I put my applications? Where do I put my data? Kind of extending that storage discussion. Uh, so, you know, there was a good discussion of AWS. I interviewed a consultant that helped with, you know, large scale deployments of, uh, of AWS. Uh, you know, lots of mobile interactions. Uh, talked to Docker about how getting closer to the application and being able to have flexibility as to where I put that. So, whether it's on premises, you know, using OpenStack or, you know, putting it in public clouds. Uh, it, uh, Docker works across multiple components. Uh, you know, another thing we talked about, Red Hat about that, 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 that options and choices is something that many of the technology are giving me, especially we talk about things like open source uh, and cloud. Uh, to, you know, some of that portability is, is something they want to look at more. So for the people watching who want you know, a couple sentences of takeaway from this event, what is the big takeaway here? Yeah, so I mean, the biggest takeaway for me is, you know, we talk about the practitioners and the users. Uh, um, 
there no, I think it was Dewey that uh, said, uh, um, you know, Dewey Sasser, who was the consultant I talked about from AWS. He said, basically, if you're in IT, you need to stay curious, you need to keep learning, because we've been saying this for years, you know, what you're doing today, five years from now, it's going to be totally different. If you still think you can keep doing things the same way, you're going to be out of a job, you're going to be out of business, because your competition's moving. And, and this is a little bit scary for a lot of people, because it, it's easier to just kind of, you know, do what you know, but, uh, you know, there's lots of your peers out there doing it, lots of places like this user group uh, where I can learn more. So, you know, that, that's really important as we head into 2017. You know, what goals are you going to set for yourself? You know, am I going to, you know, take new courses, do new certifications, um, or just, you know, look at some areas outside of my comfort zone um, because absolutely things are going to change. So, great event. We got a big weekend for the Patriots coming up. Where else are you going after this? Where what events do you have on the horizon? Yeah, so Sam, uh, you know, I, 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 actually it's funny, like half the guests that we have on, it's like, oh, hey, uh, we're going to be at that show. So uh, we've got a couple of shows coming to the Boston area this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Red Hat Summit comes here every other year. It's at the Boston Convention Center uh, this year, the new convention center on the Seaport. Open Sack Summit uh, is going to be at the Heinz. That's great. Of course, we've got tons of events right. on the West Coast. We've got, uh, I don't go to our big data event that we have, but Big Data SV is a big one. Uh, the same week as StratiConf. Um, I'm expecting to go down to DockerCon, uh, which is going to be April in Austin. I'm heading to a Google Cloud event, uh, you know, in March in San Francisco. So, you know, I hit the West Coast a bunch. I try to minimize how many times I go to Vegas. I think I was there six or seven times last <laughs> year. I think I might be one or two less this year, uh, which will be nice. Uh, a few events down in Austin. All the open source events seem to be down, down there. Uh, I'm real easy to get in touch with. If you see on the lower third, you know, my Twitter handle is Stu. It's just Stu at SiliconAngle.com comms, my email, you know, hit me up. You can look at our website as to what events we're going to be at. We're actually going to launch a new wikibon.com website soon where we're going to have events listed. So you want to know where I'm at and what webinars I'm doing and things like that. We're going to make it real easy. So that's something we are looking forward to in 2017 and lots more events too, Sam. Great. So as you said, I think the beer is waiting for us. <laughs> So, um, any last words, or should we wrap uh, no, it up? No, just look, you know, as always, thank you to our audience, you know, really appreciate this. Uh, this is an event we give back to the community. Uh, you know, we, we love to participate in this, so uh, if there's anything, uh, you know, we can help with, feel free to reach out. Uh, love to be at more events, uh, and, uh, you know, love to help talk about all of these cool things going on in the industry. Thank you, so as Stu said, you know, reach out to us. Uh, we're grateful to be here, it's been a great event. So. Thank you for watching. All the interviews are at siliconangle.com. Thanks again for watching theCUBE.